Hey team, it's not time to stop. Lawn's still growing. Even though it's fall, you gotta keep getting that fur down. Push your cool season lawn. Hey team, welcome back to Lawn Journeys. Um, it's 72 degrees today. It's November 6th in New Jersey. My lawn is green, it is lush, it is growing, and I'm gonna continue pushing it um, with some nitrogen into the fall. This will probably be my last furt. I'll be um, doing a second round of PGF Complete today, which is a 1648 formulation. Um, I put this down three weeks ago. I did my double dark two weeks ago. You guys saw the result of that for Halloween. Um, you can link to the video um, above with the eye. Um, there's no reason to stop. I'm gonna keep uh, feeding my lawn, feeding my roots. I'm gonna do a BioStim application today. Probably gonna do Humic 12. I probably will continue my BioStims until I get a hard frost, so I may be doing an Air 8 with an RGS next week. And then I'll start backing down. Um, I am still going to get my pre-emergent down. I'm going to be using a Dithiapir um, product. Um, and I'll be covering that in a couple weeks. I had really good success with doing a fall pre-emergent last year. I had virtually no weeds and no crabgrass in my lawn this season. So I highly recommend it. I did overseed my lawn back in August. You guys can link to that series above also. Um, I used the GCI Turf Services Blue Heat. Very happy with the way it came in. My lawn thickened up um, in some areas. I like the color, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how um, it holds up next summer. So anyway, guys, this is a quick video. I'm um, not gonna be too long. Let's um, throw this material down, and I'm just gonna have a quick chat at the end and just show you how things are looking. Of course, every time I do one of these videos, one of my neighbors starts some kind of device up. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Some kind of blower. Really annoying. Anyway, um, PGF Complete. It's an Anderson's product. It's a 1648. I was um, potassium deficient this year, so I have been continuing with some minor potassium applications in some of my fertilizers. I've used a variety of fertilizers this season. Um, like I said, I get a really good color response from PGF Complete. It's a really nice pearl size. A couple different uh, granules in here, but they are definitely nicely mixed um, and homogenized. And the stuff spreads well. I'm using my Earthway 2600A plus spreader set at 13.5. And the application rate is on the screen. Sorry, I. Uh, Okay team, you guys have seen me do this a million times this season. I'm gonna follow my PGF Complete uh, application today with uh, Humic 12. I'm gonna be putting it down at about, probably about four ounces um, per thousand today. I'm gonna put it down a little heavier. I've been doing three ounces um, all summer. Um, the Humic 12, you guys um, can see the goodness come pouring out right here. It's fantastic. That's 16 ounces right there. I'm gonna put it in my bucket. I'm gonna go another 16, which gives me 32. Okay, to get the rest of my lawn done, I need um, 10 more cups um, because two of these fills one of my 32 ounce bottles and um, it takes me six bottles to do my property. So I will fill this 10 times from the hose and we're gonna speed it up and mix the solution up. Okay, that's enough uh, solution to fill six of my bottles. There are 32 ounces, each one. Um, I get about 1,100 to 1,200 square feet out of a bottle, roughly. 
Now, like I've um, said in some previous videos, I think I'm gonna move to a backpack sprayer next season. However, I do like these spray bottles. They do do a nice job. Um, they do everything really well, except for the microgreen. Sometimes the microgreen um, gets plugged in these 20 to one Anderson spray bottles. Um, links are below, um, but I do recommend them. They work rather well and I've had good success. And like, um, I've shut my irrigation down for the season. So I threw my PGF complete out today and I have no way of watering it in unless I want to run around with some sprinklers, but this will, uh, you know, activate um, some of it, get a little wet. There is some rain coming later this week to my area. So um, that'll take care of the rest. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is just um, funnel this into my bottles and we're gonna get spraying. You see the goodness coming out? Dominate my neighbor. Never take your foot off the pedal. You can continue dominating until the hard frost. Domination a full season. You take your foot off the gas, your neighbor may slide in in front of you. Things are looking good. And if you continue with these bio stems like I did last year, I mean, you're just, you're delaying the bed for next year. I mean, look at this lawn. I mean, it's it's 72 out here today. It's November 6th. It's crazy. I may as well just keep my foot on the pedal. It's only conditioning my turf and my roots and my lawn for a quick, strong start next season. Hey right, team. Anderson, 20 to one spray bottles. Blows the humic out great. Humic 12, no problems. Um, RGS and Air 8, no problems. Microgreen, mm. when I did the microgreen with the uh, green effect a couple weeks ago, yeah, that's where I could really use a backpack sprayer. Um, and like I said, I have used these bottles at a relative's house and um, with the lower water pressure, with the microgreen, it doesn't come out. So um, again, I'm looking at a My Four Sons or a probably a Flow Zone Cyclone sprayer next season. A couple guys have um, recommended, I think it was a Petra. Um, so I appreciate any other recommendations. Um, and if you do leave a comment and tell me what you're using, tell me what you're spraying with it. And is it working? Because that's all I really care about. Um, like I said, just because I'm making a YouTube video doesn't mean I know what the best products are. All these guys are doing products, reviews, and all that stuff. I mean, I'm sure in my journey as I go, I make mistakes, I'm gonna let you know the product sucks or whatever. Um, also, you know, don't wanna be buying new equipment all the time. I don't wanna buy something that's gonna last me for many seasons. But as you guys can see today, my lawn's looking fantastic. I mean, it's, it's totally dominating the neighborhood. I just put down another app, a PGF Complete today. It's gonna kick this thing into higher, higher gear than it's already in, because it already has a double dark on it. Um, and then I did the humic. If it's still relatively nice next weekend, I may just hit it with one more app of RGA, RGS and Air 8. And yeah, I'm kind of getting close to the end of the season. I will be doing a um, pre-emergent app. Um, like I said earlier, I did that last fall. I think I put it down in November and I'll check the date. I had no weeds in my lawn this year. I mean, I had a couple broadleaf leaves here and there. I had no crabgrass. I mean, guys, 
I've had crabgrass coming out of you know what. I mean, I had none this year. I think I found maybe one or two little bunches in the back um, under the trees back there. That's been like the, the last part of my property that I haven't paid. I'm starting to pay more attention to it. It's always been shady and been hard to grow um, grass back there, but I had a neighbor build a house back there, so a lot of the shade is gone. So I'm starting to seed it and work on it. I added a little more irrigation back there this year. So, you know, we'll see how that goes over the next couple seasons. The, the point back there is to try to get rid of the dirt um, or I'm going to, you know, do some kind of um, ground vegetation planting. Um, so that's it. I hope you guys are out there. I hope you're after it. Get out there, get it done. Just because the fall is coming doesn't mean you have to let your foot off the gas. I don't want you guys going out and buying crazy uh, FERPs and apps and stuff. I mean, if you're running out of supplies and you want to call it a year, I totally understand. I had these bags of PGF. I told you guys I bought them early in the year. Um, so I just used my last two 5,000 square foot bags. Um, so it's going really good. Uh, again, having a lot of, a lot of fun with the other YouTubers and um, folks watching the videos. It's fun to share ideas and uh, successes and failures, right? Um, like I said, just because I'm showing mine doesn't mean it's the way to do it. Let me know how you're doing it. I just enjoy making videos. So I enjoy um, the editing process. And, uh, you know, I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot from watching other YouTubers and reading things online. Um, we're all DIYers, right? Um, all DIYers. So let's teach each other and uh, support each other in the community. And uh, I'll see you guys next time on Lunch Race.